In this video, we're going to talk about concept of hardening in abacus, hardening common types and related equations. You will see the implementation of the several types of hardening using ViewMet and UHARD subroutines. So stay with us. Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are working on the topic simulation of hardening. So join me with a few examples of how to simulate hardening. Well, let's take a look at the content of this tutorial. What is hardening? First of all, we should explain what is the yield surface. In the general 3D, all six components of a stress tensor contributes to yielding of the material. The von Mises equation in, in yield condition has this form. If we subject all stresses in the third direction to zero, the plane stress yield condition becomes this. In the principal coordinate system, sigma 1, 2 is equal to zero and the yield condition takes a simple form of this equation. And the related graph is shown here. The yield surface defines the elastic region of a material under different states of stress. When the stress point is situated within this surface, only elastic strains are produced. When the stress point is situated on the yield surface, this equation is satisfied and plastic strains are produced. Hardening is known as work hardening and strain hardening because plastic deformation results from the movement of these locations in material Microstructure metals can be strengthened by preventing this motion. When a metal is bent or shaped, dislocations are generated and moved. As the number of dislocations in the crystal increases, they will get tang tangled and pinned and will not be able to move. This will strengthen the metal, making it harder to deform. This process is known as hardening. For example, this graph of a steel in which the blue line represents the stress strain curve of it. If the steel is stretched to point K and released the tension, the steel will recover to point O, and if it is stretched again, the stress strain curve will be OKCD, and the new yield point K is higher than the original yield point B, but the elongation decreases. Within a certain range, the bigger the cold worker working deformation is, the greater the yield strength increases and the more the plasticity and the toughness decrease. The simplest hardening rule is the isotropic hardening rule where the subsequent yield criteria is an exp expanded version of the initial one with the same shape and position as shown in figure. The isotropic hardening model is useful for cases involving gross plastic straining and for cases where the straining at each point is essentially in the same direction in a strain space throughout the analysis. The exponential law of isotropic model is shown here. In this workshop, several parts must be designed. So in the table, we will have two separate H beams with following with the following geometric dimensions. In this section, we will look at the dimensions of the brace in our model. It is hollow structure with rectangular cross section. There are also certain plates that can be used to connect the constructions. Here, the material qualities are defined. We only have mechanical qualities that are elastic and plastic. Noted that because we intend uh, to apply cyclic loadings, our hardening model will be kinematic. The plot of displacement amplitude and time is shown here. The location of applying boundary conditions and displacements to our model is depicted graphically here. During the GUI explanation of the simulation, we will show you the exact location of these. 
The graph and the picture of this slide is related to second simulation. We are going to analysis first simulation in Abacus standard which the displacements are applied on the top left of the model. In the part modules, we created the parts of our model. After naming the part, in the modeling space section, choose 3D. For the type, choose Deformable. For base feature, choose Shell as the shape and extrusion as the type of for bean. And brace parts and choose Shell with Planner type for plates. Set the approximate size to 5. Sketch each part with the dimensions according to presentation. Reminded that change the time of displacement amplitude you should just multiple the time by 0.01. Leave other things default and submit the job. You can see the value of stress and strain here and as you see we only have equivalent plastic strain in the bottom um, gusset plates. Hello guys. In this workshop, we simulate kinematic hardening plasticity by writing VU math subroutine. Pay attention in kinematic hardening behavior, yield surface will shift. In isotropic hardening, the yield surface will be larger. But for kinematic hardening, yield surface just will translate. You can see the displacement value here, which is X. First, it has initial surface and then it changes. If you want to rewrite the stress equations for this new state, first you should check original equation, which was in the elastic region. Difference equation will be according to equation 2, which strain difference are added to the equation. Equation of yield surface will be equation 3 that alpha is actually fact stresses, which alpha will, will be equal to the value of yield surface transition, and S is the deviatoric stress tensor, and sigma 1 actually is yield stress. Differentiation rate of equivalent plastic strain equals to equation 4, which will be calculated based on each plastic strain component. To calculate plastic strain vector, you should calculate it according to equation 5, which is dependent on back stresses, deviatoric stress, yield stress, and rate of equivalent plastic strain. Back stresses difference rate is in accordance with equation 6 and related to hardening and also rate of plastic strain.
we can also have the value of internal energy and dissipation energy. Internal energy for a Bacchus is like this. And also plastic dissipation. We call these results on subroutine model as well. And also for the internal energy in the subroutine model. If we want to compare the results of the two models, here we will have the internal energy in the subroutine model and here for a Bacchus model. When we draw both curves, we see the results will match exactly. So our calculations for internal energy are done correctly. In order for this comparison to be fully visible, we use two different colors to draw the diagram. We see that the results are exactly on top of each other. If we do this comparison for the uh, dissipative energy in the two models of Abacus and subroutine, we'll see that results are the same as previous mode, which in the initial step, when it's elastic mode, it's zero. And after we go to the plastic state, it shows its difference brown for Abacus and green for subroutine. Thank you for your attention. Let's explore the first workshop. It implements the U-Heart subroutine for isotropic hardening in a simple model. This hardening here is a formulation based. In the next workshop, the hardening will be data based. The model is a cube with the dimension L on which the, the displacement U is applied. We have the elastic module and density here. The plasticity coefficients in the formula are indicated here. The dimension is 100 mm and the displacement is 5 mm. After the job is completed, click the results button to see the results. Now let's check the results and see whether they are if affected by the subroutine we have applied or not. So we plot a stress strain curve for one element and check if it is reasonable according to the applied subroutine. So click the XY data and select the ODB field output. Select the Mises stress S11 stress equivalent plastic strain, plastic strain in direction 1 and the LE11 component. Then select this element and save the results.
Next, select the Operate on XY data. Here, we want to have the stress strain curve. So, select the combine and choose the strain first. Then, stress. Save the plot, then click the plot expression button. As you see, the yield stress is almost 200, and the nonlinear curve here is as expected. Now, this time, let's see the equivalent plastic strain stress curve. As you see, according to the subroutine, the yield stress is 200 in a strain 0. Also, you can plot the diagram of the plastic strain and the stress in direction 1. Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abaki. Hardening plasticity in Abacast. This package includes these sections. Lesson. Plasticity. Hardening in Abacus Workshop. 1. Effect of the earthquake on a brace with kinematic curve. Workshop 2. Combine hardening usage and structure under cyclic mode. Workshop 3. Writing view mat subroutine for kinematic hardening. Plasticity. Workshop 4. Implementation of u hard subroutine for isotropic hardening, formulation-based, and simple model. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it will be useful for you.